Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, boys and girls. Welcome to this Wednesday night meditation. Beautiful month of June, beautiful day. Welcome all. And I would like to start with a word of prayer. Lord God in heaven, we come before you at the beginning of this short meditation, and we thank you that we may call upon you. We need your blessing. We need your forgiveness. We need your strength and your, the work of your Holy Spirit. Father, without your guidance, without your will, without your help, this all comes to naught. Work in our hearts by your Holy Spirit, and may this be for your glory in the first place and also for the edification of your people. We thank you that you have preserved your word over thousands of years, that we may read part of it also tonight. Help us to glean from it, to learn from it, to give you glory through it. Open our hearts and our minds, our ears, and help us to learn, but especially to give you the praise. We ask this all for Jesus' sake. Amen. I'd like to read two parts of Scripture, uh, the first being from Psalm 98, and afterward I'll follow that up with uh, something out of Revelation. Okay? Psalm 98. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with a lyre with a lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the hills sing for joy together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. So far, Psalm 98. Let us also take a look at Revelation 14, which also talks about a new song. Revelation 14, verse 1 through 5. Then I looked, and behold, on Mount Zion stood the Lamb, and with him 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven like the roar of many waters and like the sound of loud thunder. The voice I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps. And they were singing a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures, and before the elders. No one could learn that song, except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. It is these who have not defiled themselves with women, for they are virgins. It is those who follow the Lamb, wherever he goes. These have been redeemed from mankind as first fruits for God and the Lamb. And in their mouth no lie was found, for they are blameless. A new song. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. In 1719, what became the most popular Christmas song in North America, Joy to the World, was published by Isaac Watts. 
the opening words of Psalm 98 tell us to sing to the Lord a new song. And that's what Isaac Watts did. His song was new, but it had ancient roots. It was based on Psalm 98. But Isaac Watts wasn't the first person to create a new song based on this psalm. Seventeen centuries earlier, Mary, Jesus' mother, based her new song on it. And you can find that in Luke 1, verse 39 to 56. The one who would fulfill Psalm 98 had come into the world, and he would make known the Lord's salvation. Psalm 98 calls the ends of the earth to sing praises to the Lord, the God of Israel, in response to his mighty deeds. All of creation is called to roar, clap hands, and sing for joy before the Lord, because he alone is worthy. So, what is that new song that we can sing? Should we all become songwriters? And does this mean that we should forget about those old songs, like Psalm 98? In the book of Revelation, we're given a sneak peek into the realm of heaven, where God's people are heard singing a new song. Revelation 14, verse 3, which we just read. And Revelation 15, verse 3, tells us they were singing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. It was a very old song, historically speaking, made new because Christ has fulfilled it. We can sing to the Lord a new song because of what Christ has done. When we trust in Jesus, we are changed completely. We are a new creation. We're not limited to singing the same old song that appears in new forms year after year on the pop charts. We have been given a new song to sing, a song of joy, a song of wonder, a song of praise. The Lord has done marvelous things, and the most marvelous thing he has done is sending his son to save his people. The new song that we sing may be very old, but it is always new for us because we have been made new. There is reason for joy because the Lord has come, and he will come again to judge the world with righteousness. And we look forward to that day. May our lives be filled with his new song. Thank you. Can I lead you in closing prayer. Lord God in heaven, we give you thanks that also in our lives we may sing this song new and fulfilled because of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You have given to us a purpose. We know where we have come from. We know where we are headed. We know to whom we belong. Father, you give to us so much knowledge also in your word, so much comfort when there are many who walk around this world who are lost, who do not know why they live. And you have given to us all these answers in your word. We thank you that life itself is full of beauty. Creation sings. No one has created life but you. You are the one who has made it. We cannot even copy it. We are still learning what all is done to make life. It is very complex. Indeed, you are very great. And Father, we find you are also great in mercy. We have hope. We have encouragement. We have joy. And we rejoice also in this new song. Father, we know it is also true that many in our congregation also suffer and find it difficult, maybe at times, to sing. Some cry out in sorrow. Others may be in pain. Some may be confused in mind or depressed. And Father, also some wander from the faith. Be with all your people. 
be also with parents who see their children not always walking in your ways and help them that they may also guide and assist and lead. Father, be also with those who are lonely, who feel the effects of loneliness, who feel the effects of their aging. Be with those who also miss loved ones. Father, we thank you that there is still great joy in life. We thank you that recently we can meet again together, even though it is maybe only 30% of our capacity. But we sing the new song, which is an old song. But we thank you that it is new in you. We thank you that also this week we may, on this Sunday, hopefully witness again a baptism, something that we have been waiting for for a long time. We thank you that you've given to us hope that maybe soon we can gather in even greater numbers. We thank you also for the accompanists, those who play the piano and the organ, that we may indeed sing this new song and that we also together through digital means may hear people singing. And we rejoice in that for you are worthy of all praise. We also eagerly await your return. And Father, help us then to be ready to sing this new song in perfection. We pray also that you will bless the voting process that is occurring this week as many of the males in the congregation are able and willing to cast votes to choose brothers for elder and deacon. Father, we pray, will you bless this process? May it also be that those who will be chosen feel also that they are chosen in this process by you. And Father, help us that we may see this also from your fatherly hand, for you have everything in control. Nothing happens without your knowledge. We thank you for this time together. Be with us on this beautiful sunny day. Help us to enjoy this beautiful weather, and may it be that in all our life we give you great rejoicing. May the rivers clap, the waves rejoice, the mountains rejoice, and may your name be praised forever and ever, also by your people. For Jesus' sake we pray. Amen. Thank you for this time together. I will tell you that this has come from this book, a very worthwhile book. Um, as you can hear, this is Christ's Psalms, our Psalms, and uh, highly recommended. The meditation came out of this one, and you'll be able to find it if you have a copy. Thank you, and have a great day. <laughs>